and gentlemen. My next guest, a very funny comedian, good friend of ours, who has a new CD out called Not Sold Out. Please welcome our pal, Mark Maron. Happy yeah. New Year, my friend. Thank you, and to you too, sir. How, uh, how were your holidays? Good holidays? Well, you know, I'm a Jew, and... Uh, <laughs> what a pleasant a, way to say it. <laughs> had a very non-traditional uh, holiday season. I celebrated Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't have Hanukkah at all? No Hanukkah? Not even a little bit of Hanukkah? Why don't, you know, it's like, it's not that I have anything against the holidays. I just, I don't care, you know? And um, my girlfriend, who's not Jewish, uh, was like, you should do Hanukkah. You should do it. It'd be good. It'd be special. I'm like, I don't do it. She's like, do it. It'll, it'll make you feel like... Like, you know, like you did when you were a kid. That's so, nice. She encouraged yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So I go, I dig out the yarmulke, the menorah, and like, I do it for two nights. The second night, I'm lighting the candles, and I'm saying the prayer, and she starts laughing. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, what are you laughing at? She goes, I just think it's wonderful that you're doing the thing. I'm like, no, it's not. That's not why you're laughing. I think she was sitting there going, look at the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> look at the Jew singing his silly Jew song. <laughs> Well, uh, this is exciting. You have this 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 new girlfriend. Have you yeah. met Have you met her parents? Well, for uh, Thanksgiving, we went up to uh, where her parents live, and I and I never really met her dad. And it's weird when you meet the dad because it's just it's weird because I you, he opened the door and he you might as well just say yeah I'm doing her, <laughs> you know, because that's what he's thinking, isn't it? It's like yeah I'm doing her, and now I'm going to eat some of your food. <laughs> yeah. What do you give me that look for? You can't do her. I'm doing her. So, you're a very oh, fun guy the to truth have. Is a problem. <laughs> you're a very fun guy to have around on the holidays, aren't Hilarious. you? Hilarious, very exciting. <laughs> yeah. uh, is the um, is the new year going well so far? Well, today I woke up uh, terrified. Uh, mostly my fault. I set the alarm. You know, do you ever think about how everyone starts their day? Do you ever really think about? Nah, nah, nah. What? Jeez, what the hell is that? Is there a fire? I think I wet myself. Oh, it's just a clock. It's time to get up. I get it. So you have one of those clocks with that alarm? No, but it's They like don't all have that, nah, nah, you know? No, they don't all have you going, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Actually, General Electric makes one now. It's me going, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to get that one. Yeah, get that one. It's good. Did you ever think about that? You start your day every day by scaring the hell out of yourself. I mean, you could be dreaming. Maybe you're like, hey, look, I'm flying. Hey, there's my mommy. What's Hitler doing here? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> But, of course, if you see your mom and Hitler, you might want to wake up. It's weird. You might want to call your mom and go, Mom, what were you doing with Hitler in my head while I was sleeping? Right. And my mom would go, I don't know. Ask your father. <laughs> is there an answer for everything? This is exciting. You have a new TV show you're working on. Is this right? I am working on a show. It's a, it's a show called 22. 22. Yeah, it's, it's not like 24, really. It's like 22 minutes, and it's about uh, an alcoholic detective who on every episode wakes up somewhere unfamiliar to him and then has 22 minutes to figure out what he did the night before. That sounds like a good show. It's very interesting. And who are you making this show for? I'm making it for myself at home. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't ask too many questions, it's should I? A documentary yeah. thing, you know? uh, Now, are you going to move to, you know, most television, most real professional television is done in Los Angeles? Yeah. Uh, not the stuff we're doing here. I mean, the real, you got to go to L.A. Are you going to move to L.A. for this You mean show? I screwed up by going to St. Louis? That was a mistake? <laughs> No, you're going to get all the best people to work no, on. No, I moved to L.A. I'm out there now, and there's a, I moved a, a, across the country. And I, there's a couple things I want to say. I don't have a lot of jokes about it, but I just want to put this out there as a general service announcement. U-Haul sucks. That's all. That's all. You know, some of you may know what I'm talking about. Now, I will say this, though. <laughs> Thank you. That's a powerful company you just insulted. I, I don't care, man. My well, I do. U-Haul. <laughs> Rolla, Missouri. U-Haul. No, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, um, I will say this, though. If you see a U-Haul on the street, didn't mean to hurt you there. If you no, see a U-Haul right. on the street, have empathy, you know, d be nice, don't cut it off, don't get angry, because there's like a 90% chance that in the cab of that truck, there's a guy going, I don't know how to drive a truck! What am I doing in here? Is my mirror going to hit that thing? Jeez, what the hell is this? And in the back of that truck is everything that guy owns. Everything. <laughs> Including a box labeled high school artwork. Oh. <laughs> I like that some people really enjoy me, others not so much. I enjoy that. It's, it's very important to me that four of you laugh and the rest of you don't. Let me you know point why? out that four because is pretty good in this room. Those four are right. 
Four. Let me point out that four in this room is very good because there are only eight people in our studio audience. I didn't want to say anything. Uh, any uh, New Year's resolutions? Any plans for the new year? Uh, I'm going to try to treat my cat better. I've been a little bad to my cat. You've been Why, bad to your a, cat? Who's bad to their cat? I have a very needy cat, Conan. Oh, okay. I don't have the aloof cat. I've got the cat that tries to nurse on my eye when I'm sleeping. <laughs> and, Wants and a little I, sip of ocular jelly in yeah, the middle yeah, of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's exactly what I was Don't thinking. Don't you love the term yeah. ocular jelly? Well, it's amazing that you said it because it was right about to come out of my mouth. I'm ocular sure it was. Jelly. Yeah. No, but it's like it's the cat's too needy, and I feel like you know, look, you, you have to resolve these issues with your mother and come back, and we'll talk. So I, I like I throw the cat off of me sometimes, not hard, just gently throw right. it onto the floor, and it goes meow, and I'm like, oh, come here, and this is back and forth, and I think right, I'm right. screwing its head up, and I'm, I'm, cons <laughs> I'm concerned it's going to become a drug addict, maybe a stripper, you know, and then. <laughs> And the thought of yeah. my cat just being another pussy out there showing itself for money is like, uh, <laughs> like it's, it's sad to me, you know? And I, I don't... That's I, also I don't, a good term, I, I next to ocular I, jelly. I don't want to be a bad, uh, bad cat daddy. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I do yeah. know what you're saying. You're a bad dad man. Bad cat daddy. Mark's going to be performing at the Improv in West Palm Beach from January 15th through the 19th. Thank you, sir. So write that down. I, uh, oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I want to make sure you're there. And the CD, not sold out, is available at markmarin.com. And so get that. Mark Marin, you're a good man. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. <laughs> Happy New Year, too. You, too. We'll be right back with a performance from the cast of the Broadway musical Hairspray.